Hey guys, welcome back. I got another video for you. And like it or not, Icon and Harbor Freight have come out with a new set, which is actually quite a bit different than what you guys have been used to with their standard deep, shallow ratchets and extensions um, that come separately. I, I think as many of us can recall, if any of you guys do buy the Icon stuff, you're used to these just awkward plastic trays that I have yet to find a use for. Uh, but they also then have their somewhat hard plastic tray inside them, right? That allows them to fit inside your toolbox. But the reading also on them isn't the best either because, well, you gotta look a little extra close. So, uh, this is what we've had up until now, and they've even shrinked down this box to even a more, uh, uh, cheaper and easier to use, uh, paper box. Uh, for most of us now. So this is the original style that came out initially several years back and I still have it in here. Uh, this is an extra set that I had. But now Icon and Harper Freight have decided to make a toolbox for carrying all, the, all, all of this set in and it's all in foam trays as you'll see here. Uh, uh, but let's, let's dive into it. Uh, part number on this is uh, M25400 and this is the 3 8 inch drive. There is another uh, set that just dropped as well. And again, guys, this just dropped this week. So this is very fresh. And it should be at most all stores uh, near you guys. But uh, this is the 3 8 inch drive. There is also the quarter inch drive. There is no half inch drive out yet. I don't know if that's going to come or not. That is to be determined. Uh, but this is 3 8 drive. Uh, as I tend to use sets like this more so in the 3 8 uh, pricing for the 3 8 drive is $150 uh, before any coupons. Of course, if any coupons pop up, you could use them on this set. And then for the quarter inch drive, uh, same quantities, I believe, as well. Uh, but the price for that one is going to be $99 or $100. So $50 difference between the two sets, uh, depending on which one you're, you're most interested in. So what's included in this? Obviously, the 3 8 inch drive. Uh, this is the 9-inch long, low-profile prof ratchet. You do get all the socket extensions down here. Now, this is kind of weird because they do offer this socket extension in-store around 30-some-odd dollars. Um, I think it's 34 for their full kit. I think it's five total. This one comes with two. It does come with universal, and then it does come with these step-up and step-down um, adapters. So, and those are from one-quarter... Uh, down to one quarter and up from one quarter to uh, three eighths. Uh, although none of these, it's worth noting that none of these sockets in here are anything but three eighths. So uh, it doesn't really make sense, I think, to have that in here. But uh, you know, take it how you want. Um, so we'll dive in, take a look inside. Um, much the same of what you're used to. Chromoly steel construction. Um, they're going to be. Uh, chrome plated as much as you guys are used to no skips is their big thing here which is true there are no skips uh we'll run the gambit over here you can see eight millimeters all the way up to 19 millimeters and then quarter inch all the way up to seven eighths uh i would i still wish they'd go up and use another size on both of those uh and skip 20 go to 21 but uh you know icon's got their own way of doing this so uh we'll take a look actually let's take a quick look at the back of this box as well so you guys can see what all's in here? Uh, it's a 54-piece set, and as you know, if if you haven't purchased these yet, uh, they've attempted to copy Snap-on with their thin wall design, and they also only bring down uh, the broaching or or essentially the uh, socket depth is only so deep, and then it's just a hollow center, which is kind of nice because it allows you to get on fasteners and not push them all the way to the base and have a, a socket that just wants to slide back and forth on um, a fastener so that isn't a a, a a bad design that shallow hex depth um, chamfered openings we'll look into that and uh, universal joint you already know about that uh, this style of design guys I'm not a big fan of that there's much better ones out there but it does serve its purpose here so take it how you want and the 92, 90 tooth gear mechanism, traditionally, ah, if you watched my previous video, I go into more depth on this ratchet. 
but I do like it. Uh, it is a good ratchet for what you pay for it. Uh, but let's see if this one's still the same or if they've changed things up with this new design, uh, with this with this new packaging that they have here. So uh, let's go ahead. This is obviously the box you can see here. Uh, really small lettering down here, but this set is made in Taiwan, so still making it in Taiwan, and it still has a lifetime guarantee. So any problems, you take it back. So let's crack it open, let you guys see all the goodies inside. So it is a blow molded case. Uh, I do like that they have the raised lettering and the uh, identif identifiers on the outside. Icon 3.8 general service set. That is nice. Uh, all these are just painted over. Uh, so icon here. And it even has it on the sides. So if you're stacking it inside, uh, you know, on a rack or inside your vehicle, you do have the ability to see it from those two sides and also from a third side uh, on the bottom obviously are the legs but we'll get into this here the pins are actually removable so you can pull this apart and use it either as a tray with the trays inside of it and we'll see the trays inside in a second or uh, leave it a hole as you see it here now, hopefully we capture all this on screen as we open it up uh, this will get a little tight here but uh, here is inside the blow molded case. They do give you a nice little small foam insert. That won't last long. And then here you have all of your tools. We'll zoom in real quick, let you guys get a little bit closer view of all this as we're looking. There you go. Maybe we'll start like that so you guys can see it. So here's the blow molded cases, and I'll pull these out one by one. Uh, it is a dual foam, so the top is going to be your charcoal, and then the bottom is going to be the red, so you can distinguish between the two. And they do a good job with some positive pressure holding in your tools. So the foam trays are nice. And then you look down inside here, you can see there's a nice recessed area and the ability to pop it out on bo from both sides. Uh, each of these pump foam trays. So I'll pop this one out, pop the next one out, and so you can see all three of them out. We'll pop the last one out here too. So a simple flat bottom tray inside here for putting all these. And this could actually double if you guys, you know, want to put something else inside there or move these around as well. Uh, you could organize this however you wish uh, and reuse this. Um, reuse this blow molded case for whatever else you'd like to use it for. So, um, the layout is actually pretty nice. Uh, I do like that everything fits in here in one case. Uh, I would note that if you're trying to put this inside your toolbox, I would just make sure that you have that height required to clear your drawers. Uh, for most of mine, this would not work. I do have some larger uh, drawers that this might fit in. But maybe you want to put this on the top of your cart too. Uh, and that would actually work out quite well. It is worth noting that they do do a good job. Uh, it's almost like they use like a heated stamp to create each of those numbers. And they do a good job. And Icon is done well as well. So... Uh, visibility is actually quite nice when looking at each of these uh, and they do the same thing for the icon on this one as well so each of the each of the sizes are easily laid out easily recognizable so let's start off with the sockets you know what what do the sockets look like we'll uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit here this may look pretty normal, you guys. Let's uh, well, let's see. I got the, these are the larger ones. We could compare them to these standard size ones I have here. So we could see how does the generation one, the initial generation that dropped several years ago, compare to these. So let's start very, uh, very common number ten, 
and number 10. So newer version, older version. They actually appear to be pretty, pretty similar. Roll stamping looks the same. Not much there. Let's see inside for the broaching. It actually appears these chamfered corners are not as chamfered. And then if you look down the middle of the hole, pretty close it may be about the same opening down the middle but that chamfering is not as pronounced compared to the old on the inside that is just a slight difference on that chamfering and then here's something I uh, I just noticed look at the style of the square there's no chamfering in the corners whatsoever Whereas the older style does still retain that chamfer. And you can even look at the also the reliefs for the baldy tent. That is slightly smaller. Let's see if there's another one here. We'll bump out. Let's bump up to an ever so common. Let's see 17. 17 and 17. So old on the left, new on the right. There's a little dent in that one. Roll stamping looks about the same. The part numbers are all still the same. It might be hard to see here, guys, but even that chamfer is not as pronounced between the two. You see straight down through the bottom too. You can also see there's actually no chamfering on the back side without even getting there. None whatsoever. And that detent is a smaller detent. So I would say, sadly, um, the Icon sockets have lost. I mean, let's check out all the backs of these. Yeah, nothing. And super small detents. Let's go to SAE. Same thing. They get small, smaller ball detents. Yeah. So they have managed to dumb down their socket set. So now it has um, less chamfer and it now has these sharp corners on the back side where your um, ratchet engages, which leads to stress points and fractures. So, I mean, granted these are lifetime warranties, so it's gonna make it easier. I mean, it's still gonna be easy to, to trade these out, but that is a sacrifice in quality on these sockets. That just makes it easier for them to manufacture and less expensive. So, uh, I'm gonna go out here and already say it, guys, this is a lower quality set than these older sets that you got. Now, um, as far as metallurgy, uh, maybe we'll test that in another video. I'm not gonna test it in this video, but I'd imagine they're not much different than these. I haven't had problems with mine. Some guys I know have had problems with their um, sockets being soft, but the ones that I've been using haven't been an issue for me. Uh, but it is, once again, guys, worth noting that uh, this set isn't the same as the traditional set that you've been buying at a higher price. So keep that in mind as you're looking at these. Uh, let's just do one more real quick. 14. 14 is a pretty common one as well. We'll just uh, put this to bed. Obviously the back once again. No chamfer. So you get a little light on that so you guys can see. Let me zoom in. There you go. That relief is closer in size. And the roll stepping is actually different. It's actually smaller, not as pronounced, as on the older one. So 
Overall size is still the same though. Now let's check real quick too on the inside. Let's just make sure these uh, have the same overall dimensions. So this is the new one. I'm holding the 14 mil. Let's make sure we got that right. Had a 14.14 in there. So new is 14.14, which isn't too bad. For tolerance, sorry, wrong side. And the older one. Oh, you want for iron saw 14.12. So tolerances are even better. Let's do one more just to make sure. Let's do the ever so popular 10. All right, old one. Reset here. Old one comes in at, or sorry, new one. New one comes in at 10.02. And ten point oh two as well. So pretty close on that one. I did a couple of these earlier, and some of them were even more out of spec on the newer one than these older ones. So um, I feel like overall quality has diminished since their early offerings of these socket sets. So we'll leave that be as as it is for now. And let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of these items. So we'll go here with the extensions next. Uh, now, not a huge fan of this taper down. The knurling's great here, but why not keep it going the same dimension out? Because you are losing all that torque in this extension by not extending it. So not a fan of that. Uh, nice to see here. Nope, I take it back. There's no chamfer on this. So again, no chamfer in the corners. So not a fan of that. And I'll say here too, the knurling, although it's nice to have, it's kind of smooth. It's not really aggressive. So definitely better knurling out there. And especially for, I'd especially think that for a set like this, you'd have better knurling. So uh, I'd say, okay, not super great. Uh, this one too, no chamfer in the corners. Finish is okay. Obviously, always the part numbers are always on there. But again, the step down. Don't know why. The knurling. It's there, but it's not. I mean, it looks more aggressive than it feels. So, really kind of a letdown. So, otherwise, pretty good. I mean, pretty decent, but not super awesome. This, I'm not going to spend much time on it. This squeaky little mess. I wouldn't use these. But it's here. It's in the set. And then, as I mentioned, the step up from quarter to uh, three eighths right here. And no chamfer in the corner either. But it appears to be okay otherwise and then the 3 8 step down to quarter inch well, the, the ball detents seem to be pretty good this one actually, these ones actually have a better uh, detent recess 
in them than the sockets do. So that is interesting to see. And now this, the ratchet. You hear that, but this is really greased up. I mean, it's even on my fingers. They put a lot of lube into this ratchet. Um, back drag. I also played this a little earlier. Back drag feels a little bit more than normal, but I think it might be because they just put such copious amounts of grease in there. So it works. It goes back and forth. Um, let's do a side-by-side -side of the two. So you can see old versus new. So old's on top. Uh, again, I have some of the early ratchets that came out from Icon. And this is one. This is the new one you're seeing now. So headwise, head size, lettering. This is all very similar. But then you flip it on its side. Let's start right here with the lever. The new one actually has more meat coming off of it. Whereas the older one has a little more clearance in it. So I think I got less listened and actually added that to it which I think I actually prefer a little bit more actuation actually a little bit smoother with this just barely ever so smoothly um, again back drag this has a slightly bit more back drag and I will say even too that the anvils are slightly different I want to check this out Check out the size of the ball detents. The ball on this side is actually smaller than the ball on this one. Let's see if we get this better for you guys. That ball is smaller. So why did they go with a smaller ball? I don't know. And the machining and even the quality of metal looks different. This looks a little rougher machined than this one, the older one. The older style looks better. So something is off there. That's definitely different. Um, Handle-wise, part number, let's check it out. That all looks the same down there, even the same kind of teardrop shape. I mean, this looks, they look very similar. Um, but how do they, how do they work when you put them side by side. Because this is something I was playing with a little bit earlier. I want you guys to see this. Because this is smooth. And then also note, when I take my hand and I press down and I turn, it's not, hold on, I'm going the wrong direction. See, it's turning. Turns just fine, right? You can hear the teeth. Yeah, the, the, the pitch changes, but it turns. And I could put a lot of force, and it's fine. Let's try that with the brand new one. Put it in this mode, right? It works just fine, back and forth. But then you take it, and you put pressure down on the handle, and try to turn. Oh, it's actually acting a little bit different now. Is this the, I guess this is it. That's interesting, let me try it again. Oh, it's actually the lifting up, I take it back. Sorry guys, you take it and you lift up, and you try to turn. You hear those teeth? Those teeth are catching. So if you ever have to pull up, I swear I did it earlier pushing down too, guys, but right now it's actually performing slightly better. But either direction, if you lift, try to lift up and turn, you actually pull hard enough and completely stop it. The teeth are actually binding on the pole um, and the anvil, stopping it from moving. Whereas you grab this old, the older one and you lift up, it keeps going. It does not bind. Right? That is normal. I mean, I can even grab my gear wrench. Same idea. 90 teeth. 
Throw it on there. Lift up hard. It still spins like it should. But for whatever reason, this one binds and locks up. And guys, that is a big no, no. That is a terrible design. And um, I want to dive in and look into this a little bit more. I took a quick peek and I noticed some things that I did not like. And there is a difference in this ratchet than the ratchets that they've been selling over the past couple of years. So um, stick around, guys. I think I'm going to do another video. I'm going to dive into these two heads so you guys could see what the difference is. Um, I was going to show you guys two of these pins. I mean, since I'm here, I'm also show you the pins that pop out so you can see how it works. I'm not going to take it all the way off because you guys are pretty smart. You'd figure that out. But they actually took the time to create this little fork here that compresses and will actually do a good job holding stuff together. So um, back again to this ratchet. Not a great ratchet. The kit as a set, I mean, guys, you're talking about uh, deep sockets, shallow sockets, uh, the ratchet, the extensions. All of this together right here, if you bought it separately, is going to be two, over $200, about $230, $240. If you, I mean, if you have to get these weird extra uh, adapters. So let's let's call it let's call it $230 is what this is. If you bought them separately, uh, yeah, $230. If you buy this kit, uh, it's $150. You're saving roughly $82 by buying this as a whole. So yes. As an idea, as a set, it's a, it's a great price. Do I love some of the things I've done to it? No. Does it mean it's a, does it mean it's a terrible set or a bad set? No. I, I still think this is a decent set. The ratchet, though, um, and maybe you take that back. Maybe you get one in the in the in the individual um, boxes just by itself and put it in your set. And get rid of this garbage one. Hopefully, the ones that are still in the boxes are still this one. And maybe we'll test that out too, see if there's uh, if they're still making the better quality ones. But I'm gonna break into the heads of these and let you guys see them in a subsequent video, because it's worth noting that if you're gonna pay premium dollar for the Icon line uh, that Harbor Freight is making, if they're trying to go professional grade, then I think they need to be held accountable for creating. Uh, sets that continue to be professional grade and don't degrade over time. So, uh, guys, thanks for if you watched this long, thank you. Please give a thumbs up if you like these videos and please subscribe. Um, I try to put a lot of time and effort into these videos to give you guys uh, as many uh, as much feedback as possible uh, that will help you in your decision making of either adding these tool sets to your uh, to what you have in your toolbox or uh, in your truck. So, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Please tune in. I'll uh, my next video. I'll dive into these ratchets so you guys can see the difference between the two, and we'll talk to you guys soon. All right.